mitral regurgitation in an elderly gentleman who cannot be operated and is in heart failure because of it is a very significant problem which until recently was untreated and left alone. Now we have a percutaneous option where this can be treated very effectively with a procedure called the mitral clip which helps the patient's functional class so significantly that we are also amazed. It requires a bit of learning curve and we in our hospital have been doing this procedure for the last two years and have reached up to a certain point where we have become reasonably good in doing it, a team of us, uh, which includes, of course, the three cardiologists with the help of echocardiographer. This procedure is completely dependent upon transesophageal echocardiography with the help of 3D echocardiography. And of course, fluoroscopy is required, but most of the procedure is dependent upon the TEE, which is transesophageal echocardiography. And we have amazing results in most of the patients who otherwise cannot be operated either in the form of a mitral valve repair or replacement. So we feel that we will excel in this procedure over a period of time and will have a very large number of patients because mitral regurgitation is not a very uncommon disease in elderly. It is the second most common valvular heart disease and maybe the most common valvular heart disease after 70 years of age. So look forward to doing more and more effective treatment of patients at our institution.